Did you know that Cupid, the god of love, once fell in love himself? If you stroll through our galleries, this painting by Jacques-Louis David will definitely catch your attention. It's called Cupid and Psyche, and it was painted by David in 1817. As a neoclassical painter, David was often inspired by the art and mythology of classical antiquity. This work was actually done later in his career when he chose to exile himself in Brussels after the French Revolution. While he was in Brussels, he chose to focus mainly on mythological scenes and portraits. Cupid and Psyche has been a popular subject in art for centuries. You will see many other artist depictions of different parts of the story. But David's depiction of the characters is somewhat different. He chooses to make Cupid less idealized, less godlike, more like a mischievous teenager. And his smirk often elicits giggles from visitors who pass by. We might wonder how this story started or what happens next. Well, Venus asked her son Cupid to shoot an arrow at Psyche and cause her to fall in love with a hideous creature. She was jealous of the mortal Psyche's beauty, but instead Cupid scratches himself with an arrow and he falls in love with Psyche. We see Cupid trying to sneak out of bed because he would only visit Psyche at night so that she would not discover his identity. Once she does realize it's Cupid, they have to go through many obstacles before they can be together in the immortal world. Did you notice the butterfly above Psyche's head? There's also another one on the bed frame. Since ancient times, the butterfly has represented the soul. It's also a symbol for transformation or metamorphosis. Some say that this story represents the conflict between an idealized view of love and an imperfect physical reality. Much like humans, the gods are ruled by their emotions and sometimes it affects our judgment. Cupid and Psyche might seem immature in this part of the story, but eventually they'll fight to be together again. Maybe this is all part of growing up and learning what true love really means. You can find out more about this painting and others in our collection at cma.org.